because we have to make some parameter settings in the VFD for establishing modbus communication. Go to parameter 2.00 which is for master frequency command. In this set it as 3 which is for modbus communication. Similarly go to parameter 2.01 for first operation command and in this you set it to 3 which will enable modbus start stop control. Next go to parameter 9.00 which is for setting slave address of VFD. I set it as 1. Similarly go to parameter 9.01. In this you set the transmission speed. Next go to parameter 9.02 which is for setting the communication protocol. I have set it as 0 which is the default setting. Next we are going to program our PLC. To program my PLC I am using machine expert basic software. The PLC that I am using is TM221 CE24 hours. Next, go to this serial line and set it as mod bus, mod rate as 9600, parity none and stop it as 2. Next, go to this mod bus setting and in this choose this as key 2 and master. Since PLC is my master and VFD is my slave. Go to programming. This is the instruction for writing Modbus data in Snyder PLC. Here we are setting the VFD address which is 1. Next, go to first object. This is the address of my VFD data table. 8192 is the delta VFD data table address for control word which is using this we could start stop jog our VFD. Next quantity how many quantity of data you want to write I kept it as 1 and index data 0 which refers to our uh, memory address MW0. Similar to above all, I am creating one more run below for giving speed reference to my VFD. In this ID will be same, but data table address for speed reference is 8193. So I am giving that and index address I am giving as 1. So we will be using MW1 for speed reference. Next, I am adding animation table for changing values in MW0 and MW1. Now we have to download our program to PLC. My PLC and my laptop are connected through Ethernet communication. So this is my IP address of my PLC. So I am choosing it and clicking login. So now I have logged into PLC. Next I have to download my program to PLC. So I am using PC to controller download. Once it's downloaded, you start controller. So my PLC is now loaded with this program. I have connected my PLC and VFD using a RJ45 cable in the serial port of PLC and serial port of my VFD. Through this cable, Modbus communication is going to happen. 2 is the decimal value for starting a drive. So I am giving 2 to MW0, which in turn go to this data table 8192. For speed reference, I am entering for 4000, which means my drive will run at 40 hertz. So when I click this bit, this 2 is written to VFD and my VFD is actually started. This done bit is enabled only if my communication happens. If the communication doesn't happen, error will error bit will light up. Now I am going to show you physically how my VFD is starting when we press this M0. So I am enabling M0. Now my drive is started. And you could see my speed of the drive is increasing according to the acceleration time set in the drive. Now I am going to stop the drive. So I am changing the value to 1 which is for stop command. And again I am enabling this bit to enable this communication instruction again. And my drive is again stopping you could see from the drive output display.